I don't know about you, but I am cuckoo for those Cocoa Puffs. Chase Oyaki here with the Blue Futon reviewing Cuckoo. So what's this about? Pretty simple premise. Um, so we do have Hunter Schaefer's character going to the German Alps to father, fa father, to father, fa, fa, oh shit, to fa, fa, follow, follow her father, follow her father. Try to say that fast. Holy crap. Fa, fa, oh. I'm an idiot. Okay, we're gonna do this together. Follow her father to the German Alps because there's a, you know, a little community farm, put it that way, where they're going to be architectures to help build some more houses. Uh, but in the meantime, Dan Stevens' character is doing some weird experiments to create the best mother uh, out of bird callings. <laughs> yeah, um, that that's really the movie. I'm not joking. There's a mother character with sunglasses and red eyes that if you go do the do that not not the anchorman flute but the little accordion thing that you play in third grade then all of a sudden there's these weird things running at you and they go this and their ears twitch and their happens and then you go in time loops okay yeah it's a bonkers fucking movie um there's between good bonkers and bad bonkers. I think this is very much a middle of the road bonkers that has some funness to it, but the overall package is some of the character choices are thinking like what, and then where do you leave some characters? You're just like, huh? Like there's this random, off the wall shit that occurs. Like, oh, you did something. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You're like, okay, huh? Oh, you did this. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Or it's like, oh, your mom's sick. We're going somewhere, and we're just gonna ignore where the father and mother went. Like ignore. Like we don't know where they went. We're not going to question it whatsoever. And then we had this weird girl from France who's literally just going to randomly take everyone in. Like, anyway, I have a weird thing about that because, you know, if someone was a dude transitioned to a female, then if the females, if the guy that was a male that transitioned to a female kisses a female, technically, is it a lesbian relationship or is it still a straight relationship? Because, you know, Body types, chromosomes, things like that. Anywho, so you can't change a tongue, and if it's a male tongue. Anywho, so talking about this film, it's odd. It is so weird, and I don't know if I understood it. Because, yes, I understand you want to take these people to this location to create the best mother and have this weird goo. And then the goo is, which, but the more I think about this, Hunter Schaefer's character, if, couldn't be the mother anyway, because there's nothing to, <laughs> okay, okay, the more I think about this movie now, the more I'm thinking, like, what, because I don't understand, like, the looping factor, how, can these mother characters with the <laughs> cause people to have these looping cycles? And what do the looping cycles actually do? Because people realize they're in a loop cycle, but it doesn't, like, it affects them, but then it doesn't affect them. Like, there's just so many interesting aspects of this film, but they didn't know where to take it to the next step. Because, like, okay, if you're making these cuckoo birds that are part of this, you know, part of the world, and they're habitats and they talk about this weird stuff where these birds put eggs in other you know birds baskets and have other mothers raise it which i know that's a metaphor for what they're doing here however why what is the because i know the whole point is like make the best things or make the best humans or hybrids but what's the purpose I, what's the purpose of these creatures usually like, you make super soldiers to fight battles to become inhumane to Go to other countries and, you know, use them as robots. Here, you're creating these women. Or you're, you know, morphosizing them. Making them hybrids. To do what? Like, what? what's the point? I mean, what? what's the overall... Because it sounds like a horrible idea. Because...
because you got to do the little, but then you also got to like wear earmuffs to even do a job. Well, so that was another correlation, which I was like confused with like, okay, so you got to listen to music or earmuffs, right? So you don't get hypnotized and go in these loops. However, if you're hiding from these people or these mother or bird characters, you got to hear where they're coming from. But you're already in a lose-lose situation. So it's a lo- it's just a lost cause. And then if you know this experiment is happening and it's going to correlate to something you probably can't control, is it just time to like cut it off? Just cut it off. And then the complacency of the parents is just nonchalant. And it's just weird. And there's this other like backstory characters of this house and the mother character, which I understand why it's in there, but it it's like it's not predominant enough to make me care or see what it fluctuates into the better side of the story or what per, what what progress is it making, right? Because okay, you're adding these sub stories or these side issues into this and you're adding it into it but it's not going anywhere you're just adding stuff to a pot and not stirring it and making a full-fledged meal and that's what it is it's like oh that ingredient looks good that ingredient looks good that ingredient looks good that ingredient looks good and while it's like you're like oh shit like salt and pepper is good together well what else is tastes fantastic asparagus is good butter is good um some people might like veal but i do not like veal veal is good so you put all the stuff you like that is good in a pot, but the overall contraption or the overall c- concur, the overall mixture is shitty. And I'm not saying this movie is shitty, but there's just so many different moving parts going in so many different directions that I didn't know what, what you know lane I should be following, what direction I should be taking. It was, it was, it was yeah, it was kind of a convoluted mess. Uh, but no, the acting to me is fine. The overall landscape is good. But it was just too weird. And there's a difference between good weird and bad weird. And this was middle of the road weird weird. So Cuckoo will receive a 3 out of 5 with futons. Which equals that 60%. So let's see the critics. And you scores gave this one. So we have critics a 78% with 118 of them. Audience scores 62% with over 100 crit consensus. Directed with innovative flair by Tillman Singer, while given flavorable personality by stars Hunter Schaefer and Dan Stevens, Cuckoo is a mind cap mind house whore that is the right sign of deranged. Okay, so this is like another, maybe I'm just not into body horror films. Maybe that's the overall issue is like this I wasn't a fan of. I'm not saying I wasn't a fan of, but it's a better horror form. form. Uh, Raw was garbage. Uh, Titan was fucking garbage i don't know maybe just body horror is just not my forte let's put it that way let's just put it my body horror is not my forte so we got my 60 62 78 chase liak here the blue futon like comment subscribe i don't know if you boot on topia you boot tony think about your great day i can watch today tomorrow week found my three to five single figure one of you that's the conclusion body horror is not my forte and this review is kind of weird